Coach Paul Ballard on Sunday after a 3-0 loss to the UQT, UQTR Patriots on Coulter Field. Uh, Coach, you just mentioned uh, they scored on on three set uh, set plays, but uh, you were able to get some positives out of there. Touch a bit on on both their game as well as uh, as well as yours. Yeah, I mean, I think we have to give credit to UQTR. I mean, in their program's history, they're in an opportunity to make playoffs for the first time, and I think that uh, you have to give credit where credit's due. Their coach has done a great job organizing them, and. Uh, they came out believing that this this match could mean something for for their program. Um, an early PK call and it was a handball, and we can't take that back. Um, but there's decisions that we could have made beforehand that could have could have changed could have changed things. But it, it is what it is. I thought the girls um, it took them a while, but they did end up responding and, and get they started to get going and they started to create momentum. And um, you know it's the the past four games, I've always said it, it takes one goal to, to help us get back into it, and we've we've been unlucky. We just haven't found that goal. Um, but we can take promising stats from the fact that we um, we did create nine goal scoring opportunities, and that's something positive. And and we'll we'll fuel that this this week and um, continue to tell them to keep believing in the process. Looking ahead, uh, UCAM, McGill next weekend, UCAM in Montreal on Friday night, and then uh, Seniors Day on, on Sunday here against McGill. Uh, what, if any, changes are you going to make during the week, and uh, what can you tell us about those two teams? I, it's, it's hard to say when it comes to changes, and uh, well, a lot to do with, with injuries. We had Taylor um, come back um, from her concussion, which was great, and I thought she did well um, this week. But we'll have to wait and see on Christina Tavares and um, and Sarah Kim. Or we'll cross her fingers that Sarah Kim will be healthy so that she can um, play next weekend. But most importantly, be able to play in her seniors game. Um, you know, UCAM and McGill, like UCAM's um, dropped a bit this season, but I think it a lot of it has to do with how competitive the the division is, not necessarily how poorly they played. So we know it's going to be a fight and. They're going to want to beat us and um, get a win in their column, and and McGill. It's I think it's there's something special about a, a game against McGill. Um, I think it means a lot for for the school, for the rivalry, for all sports to to play against McGill. So it's fitting that it's our seniors' night and we get a chance to play them, but we also know that they're fighting for a playoff spot and it's going to be an absolute battle. So. Yeah, we're not going to give up. I mean, that's the big thing. The message to the girls is we're not going to give up. Um, if you want to be a champion, you have to find that extra that extra bit. Um, I might not have the answer right now what that extra bit is, but um, we're going to find it and we're going to prepare, and um, the season's not over for us yet. Thanks very much, Coach. Good luck. Thank you.